So we you know, talk about the draftees and we talk about Nick Dacos, what he said. But now the next step is you get drafted and you face the media. Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. You know, we found on YouTube, young Patrick, I think it might have been his first press conference with the Adelaide Crows. It's polished. Early 2008. So let's play a few clips. Right and you analyse it from a player's point of view, and I'll analyse it from a media <laughs> point of view. <laughs> yeah, so here we go. This I is number it. one. You uh, see yourself as a one club player? Like, definitely. I'd like to stay at Adelaide as long as I can. Oh, well, we know how that ended. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your first. that's oh, a little as, nugget. As long as I can. But when there's better uh, options, yeah. Josh. <laughs> First press conference, he's held a lie. A lie. Yeah, straight, straight up away. Lie. Now, off the back of Matt Randell coming on, and we know it was a big story that he was drafted ahead of Brad Ebert, so he was asked about that. I suppose there are pressures associated with it, but, you know, I sort of don't try to think about it too much. Once you, once you get to the club, you're just like all the other draftees, so you're trying to prove yourself, so... Oh. Not really true. If you get in the first round, you sort of do sit a bit above. The sort of, especially when you don't even bother to move over to the city you've been drafted to for a year. Oh, like some Josh as the oh. rookies of the world. Hey, look, if I can make it over at the end of the year, I'll play a couple of games. <laughs> I can't promise that I'll be at training. It's pretty rich, Jules, isn't it? Can you, oh, that? Can you <laughs> cliche that answer? That's, that's pretty okay. rich. <laughs> this one got me. Let's have a listen. This, I think Benny Way is the journo asking the question here. What's been the hardest part in pre-season? You can say there's a worst part in the running, but it's all incredibly exciting. That's a rubbish answer. <laughs> <laughs> it's absolutely <laughs> That's a rubbish answer. <laughs> Just be honest. So the time trial's no fun. That's you know, it. the best advice I can give young players, because this hurt me, and Josh will attest to this, when you do do these time trials, there are cameras at the end of the trial, and the face that you make is either something that will be covered mm-hmm. forever and will always be on file on Google search, <laughs> or it can be sort of you can make it look like he's just pushed through it and look at that that face of steel, or you can get the rubbish that sort of um, happened to me after one of the 3K trials. <laughs> the cameraman had usually, he'd packed up and put his camera away by the time I'd finished my 3K. <laughs> No, you're always waiting for the last bloke. You're always uh, waiting for the last bloke. Now, of course, Paddy wasn't playing. Well, wasn't meant to be playing for Adelaide that year. He did sneak in a game, but he was asked about that. How are you going to feel if the other draftees, one or two, get to play this year and you don't? How do you how do you handle that? <laughs> my mum my asked me that question. Um, I suppose I'd be a bit jealous, but at the same time, I'd be you know, incredibly excited for them. Incredibly excited. It would oh, be rubbish. Incredibly, incredibly excited. Yeah. You're yeah. playing school footy and they're playing AFL and you're excited for them. Andy Otten wasn't too happy. He was, he was dropped for me uh, when I played my first game. But I did say to Andy, probably the next year, you weren't lighting it up. Mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, it's against the Bombers too, your first game. Crows thumped the Bombers that day from memory. Uh, and then he was asked about who he... I think it was just Tommy Chadwick here, actually, with this one. Oh, Tommy! And based a game on anyone mate, who's currently playing, when you look, you look at an AFL player and think, I'm more like him, or, you know, it, it, oh, obviously down the track, you'd like to play like someone. Um, down the track, but I sort of... I like to take different parts of different players and try to try to use them to, to mould different parts of my game on. So there's no real player I aspire to be or aspire to play like. I just use different, different assets of different players. And, from sort of media point of view, that is such a boring answer. No, that's I like that. Just answer. give us a player. No, that, that's what like we that. want. That's why it's a good answer. I like that one. I remember when Chad Wingard got drafted. He said, yeah, I, I, I play a bit like Stevie Johnson. But that's why, Brilliant. You, that's why you don't answer it that way. Because then you don't create a headline. If you rehash the same answer every time in your head, this is what I did when I first was moving back and you're copying the, are you going to ask for a tr- uh, trade at the end of the year. If you just answer it the same way, eventually they just get sick of asking the question. You can't give a new headline. So for any um, any players that are going to leave next year, you can you, you can <laughs> just bore. You can hear this up on drive this afternoon. We'd love to break it. Bore <laughs> the world to death. <laughs> yeah, bore just them in the submission. You got to name one player. No, nah, I didn't oh, mind. No, I don't even play like it's like who you look up to. Was yeah. that the question? Yeah. So who do you oh, was who do you look up to? Yeah. Oh, you can give us that. You can say, yeah. I, I, yeah I, it, I really like the way Chris Judd goes about it. I just didn't feel no. there was a perfect package out there that really encapsulated it, Jules. <laughs> <laughs> now, that would have been an answer. There's a good answer. <laughs> that would have been the right answer. That's a very good answer. <laughs> I am unique. I'm not like anyone else. Now, this final one, I, li- I do like this final one. How was the cross Miles? You just sit in the set and you're full during this year. 
Does um, someone set that up with you with your under 18 club or uh, someone in Melbourne looking after you? Or? Once I get back home, well, I'll have a set program to do from Charlie Walsh, the um, bike man, I suppose you'd call him. Um, Charlie man. Walsh, the bike man, I suppose you'd call him. Well, that's what you would call it. <laughs> I didn't exactly do that program to the letter of the law. I, I was in for a little bit of a rude awakening the following season when I came back, I can tell you. Oh, boy. Uh, what do you think? Get, is, from a media perspective, he's been he very pretty, polished. He was pretty polished. Very polished. He could have given a little bit more on mm. a couple, Had you, but pretty good, to where, be honest. So you've, you've actually been quite, quite polished and quite professional while you've gone about that. Were you, were, had you had any sort of media training coming into that? Were you a student of uh, media and football and that sort of stuff prior to you getting drafted? I always loved the media yeah. and understood how the media would get uh, a headline. Yep. So you'd sort of try and focus your answers on something that was going to be as mundane as possible if you didn't want that. So it's a bit different when you come into a Victorian side because there is a bit of jostle for airtime. Mm. So Geelong's view is very much be yourself. Adelaide owned the market. Yeah. So it's 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 more of you can just deadpan it because it doesn't matter because 75 plus percent of the audience is, is Adelaide yeah. Rose Base, yeah. whereas Geelong, yeah. we want the attention because we're jostling with, you know, nine other teams. Yeah. Just yeah. There was, we could have stitched up our friend Andrew Capel on that too because he asked Patrick whether he would be playing in the under-18 carnival the next year. And you quite rightly pointed out that I don't think I can do that. I'm on an AFL list. <laughs> <laughs> did he really? <laughs> he did. Okay, and you went to Love Wolf Under 18 uh, Nationals as well? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think that would be um, okay by the AFL. I think it would be successful. Okay, because you're a listed player. Yeah, yeah, exactly.